Alibaba and the Forty Thieves. Once upon a time, in a Persian city, there lived a carpet merchant who had two sons, one named Kasim, the other Alibaba. After their father's death, the greedy Kasim took over his father's business, fooling the naive Alibaba. Kasim married a rich woman. Alibaba had to maintain his wife and children. He earned his bread and butter by cutting and selling wood. One day, Alibaba was gathering wood in the forest. Suddenly, he heard the galloping of many horses. Huh? Huh? He hid himself behind the tree as he was afraid. There came a troop of forty men on horseback, carrying sacks, and stopped near a big boulder in the mountain foot. They have swords and daggers on their waistbands. These must be a gang of thieves. What are they doing in the forest? One of the thieves, who looked like their leader, came in front of the boulder. Open sesame! Ali Baba couldn't believe his eyes. Whoa! The boulder was an entrance door to a dark cave. The burglars marched inside the cave, and the door got closed behind them. Ali Baba was awestruck and couldn't move a single bone in terror. After some time, the door swung open again, and out came the thieves with empty hands. They left their sacks inside the cave. The thieves sat on the horse and disappeared from the forest. Oh, this must be their hideout for the treasure. Ali Baba couldn't resist entering the cave. He stood in front of the boulder and shouted. Open sesame! The door got opened like before. Ali Baba entered the cave. Ho ho! There were huge piles of gold, silver, precious utensils, diamonds, rubies, and much more, which Ali Baba had never seen in his life. Ali Baba rubbed his eyes in disbelief, but it was all there, lying on the ground. I'll take some coins. The thieves won't even notice it. Ali Baba filled a bag full of coins and reached for home. Look what I've got! Ali Baba emptied the sack of gold coins in front of her. His wife was astonished to see so much gold. <gasps> Have you stolen these coins? It's a long story. I have not stolen anything. It was already stolen. <laughs> I will count these first. No, we can't count so many coins. Go to my brother's house and bring a weighing scale. Ali Baba's wife quickly ran to the brother-in-law's house. Dear, give me a weighing scale for tonight. I will return it by tomorrow morning. What will you weigh with it? Nothing, just some grains. Kasim's wife was a cunning woman. She thought that Ali Baba couldn't have so much grain to weigh, so she stuck wax below the scale and gave it to Ali Baba's wife. Ali Baba's wife weighed the gold coins and was very happy with the quantity. We have become rich. We can buy whatever we want. Not so soon. Everyone will suspect us. We cannot let anyone know our secret. Ali Baba's wife accepted the conditions to keep mum, but on the second day, Kasim's wife discovered their secret by seeing the scales. She immediately informed Kasim about his brother's wealth. Ali Baba has gold coins. Where did he get those? I must find out. Kasim grew so envious that he could not sleep, so he immediately went to Ali Baba's house. Ali, how are you, brother? I came here to ask you if you need anything. Don't hesitate ever. Ask for whatever you want. Your elder brother is always here for you. 
Oh, brother, I'm glad that you care for me, but I have got enough wealth now. I don't need anything else. Wealth? Tell me about it. The innocent Alibaba couldn't hold the truth in his stomach, and he told Kasim everything about the thieves and the cave. That's great! I will go there tomorrow. After all, your money is my responsibility. I have to take care of it. Uh, what's the code word to open the cave? Open sesame. Open sesame. Open sesame. I will remember that. Open sesame. The next morning, Kasim left from his house with four sturdy mules to carry the gold. I will be richer than the richest. <laughs> he reached the cave and shouted, Open sesame! And the door opened and shut behind him. Amazing! Unbelievable! So much gold! So many gems! I will take away everything from here! Kasim filled all the coins and gems in sacks. But as he came to the door to return, he just stood there thinking. What was the word? Uh, uh, open barley. Open wheat? Open the door? Open the door? Somebody, open it! In his excitement, Kasim forgot the password and got locked inside the cave. After a while, he heard the horses tapping. The 40 thieves had come back to the cave. Open sesame! As the door got open, they all found Kasim sitting on his knees on the door. Without asking him a single question, the leader killed him with a dagger and left his body lying inside. Kasim's wife went to Ali Baba to inform him about Kasim's disappearance. He had gone to the cave. I will go to find him. Ali Baba went to the cave and found Kasim's body lying there. No! Oh no! He put him on a mule and carried him to his home. Kasim's maid, Morgiana, heard everything about the incident. We have to hide the reason of his death from everyone. I will go to the doctor to get some medicine for him so that we can pretend that he is ill. Tomorrow morning we will announce that he is dead. Everyone agreed to her master plan. A few days passed, but Kasim's wife couldn't bear the grief and died. Nobody left here to serve. Please, allow me to work in your house. Ali Baba knew that she was a clever girl and would be helpful in the future. So he took Morgiana to his house. The next day, the thieves came to the cave. Where is the dead body? There is someone else who knows our secret. It's the wealth we have gathered throughout our lives. Before we lose it, we have to find out who is our enemy. Go to the village and find out who has died recently. All the thieves scattered into the village to find out the person. One thief came to the doctor's house. Hello, doctor. Do you know any person who died within a few days? Yes, Kasim died. I gave him the medicine as his maid described the symptoms. But he died. I'm very sorry for him. That's very ill-fated. Where is his house? Nobody lives in that house, but he has a brother, Ali Baba. He lives down in the valley. The thief suspected that Ali Baba must be the one who carried the body, so he went to his house at night. There was no one in the alley. He made a mark on the door. Tomorrow I will bring my gang and kill everyone in the house. The next morning, Morgiana saw the mark on the door. Clever Morgiana guessed that there was some danger for the family. She marked every house in the alley with the same mark. At midnight, the thieves came to the village but got confused because every house had the same mark. They went back disappointed. I'll go and find out tomorrow myself. 
The captain now resolved to go himself, but wiser than the others, he did not mark the house, but looked at it so closely that he could not fail to remember it. He called for 40 mules and 40 empty barrels. He filled one barrel with oil. In the remaining barrels, he asked to hide the other thieves. The leader then disguised himself as an oil merchant. He went to Ali Baba's house. Who do you want to meet? I'm an oil merchant traveling to Asia to sell the oil. It's nighttime, and I'm looking for a shelter to spend the night. That's a great distance to travel. Please come inside and take some rest. Let me see your barrels first. Oh, why not? You must. A beautiful girl like you must check for her safety first. Morgiana luckily opened the barrel filled with oil. She got assured. The leader got relief. They all came in. Morgiana prepared a delicious dinner for the night. She served the dinner and saw one of the rings on the merchant's finger. She realized it's the similar ring Ali Baba bought with the treasure. She had her doubts again. She slowly went out near to the barrels and knocked on it. Shall we come out, master? Morgiana understood the whole trick. She checked all the barrels and found a thief hiding inside. She took the barrels filled with oil and heated them in a big cauldron. Then she poured a jug full of hot oil in every barrel. That way she cleared her way out of the thieves. At night, the leader came out to call out the fellow thieves, but when he opened the barrel, he was shocked and scared. Ah! He was trapped in his own trap. He escaped from there in fear. The next day, Morgiana told the incident to Ali Baba. You have saved my life. I can't thank you enough, girl. From now on, you are a member of this family, not just a maid. Thank you, Majesty. They all stayed together as a happy family. Ali Baba was the only person who knew the secret of the treasure cave. Open Sesame! 